and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida who is currently on summer break. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Marily Sanchez, and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida who is currently on summer break. So if you're interested in finding out what a teacher does during her summer break or my life as a teacher in general, go ahead and hit that subscription button if you haven't done so already. So today is the first Monday after the last day of school. So the last day of school was last Friday, June 7th, which was also my son's birthday. I wrapped up that vlog without having finished packing up my classroom. So even though I'm officially on summer break, it doesn't feel quite like I'm fully on summer break until I finish packing up my classroom, which won't be today. Today I have another plan for me. I'm going to meet up with my bestie, Adriana. We're going to try out a fitness class together, and then we're gonna go to Starbucks, and then I have other things that I'm planning to do today, and I'll take you right along with me. So today is like day three of my 72 days of summer. Last year it was 66 days of summer because I counted up until I had to report back on the update, but this year I'm just gonna count the extra days right before the first day of school with the students. So 72 days of summer. What did I do on day one? Saturday. Day, I mostly stayed home working on my reading endorsement competency three class which was all on reading assessments and then in the evening I took my son and his girlfriend we all three of us went to dinner and then I went home and yesterday day two of my summer break I stayed home the whole day because I don't know if you can hear but I have a cold so I haven't been feeling a hundred percent so I rested yesterday but I also finished my reading endorsement class and I passed yay <laughs> and now I registered for the fourth course so the reason I'm doing that now is because Florida passed a new law that requires elementary teachers to be reading endorsed by 2021 so I'm trying to get ahead on it I had already completed competency one and two many years ago so I just finished competency three and now at the end of July I'll be taking competency four in person I think I do well on one-on-one -on -one classes with a person than on the computer because I tend to procrastinate a lot so that's what I did on my day two and today day three let's start out with getting to Adriana I'm on my way to her house and when I get there we're gonna go and check out this new workout class because I have to get back on my health and fitness journey badly all right so let's get to it and I'll catch up with you soon All right, so we just got here and we're late for the class, but we're getting our full body assessment, which is interesting. Adrienne is getting it right now. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna take a little clip of you from that. There you go. <laughs> she looks so fit, y'all. <laughs> I'm next and I'm not looking forward to finding out what I find out. So we bit the bullet and Adriana, thank you for <laughs> bringing me here. We did not do the class, which is fine. We're going to come on Wednesday and we're going to do the class. We signed up for their two class per week membership package and teachers got 10% off. So that's pretty good. We got our body assessment, which we're not sharing. We're not sharing because <laughs> yeah. boy, those numbers. Sometimes the truth hurts. And we did get our heart monitors because as you saw in the little clip, there are some screens and you get to see your percentage where you are with your heart rate and where you need to maintain. So yeah, I'll be sure to let you know what I think about this class when we do it on Wednesday. But right now I'm hungry. That's fine. So let's go eat. <laughs> So 
as you can see, we just got to Starbucks and I got myself something to eat. Adriana already ate, but I hadn't eaten. And I got myself a citrus defender and we're sitting outside. So I'll show you what we're gonna eat now. Yay. So I got some juice, organic green devotion with all that good stuff, only 35 calories. I got a lemon parfait. And I'm missing one thing. I'm gonna have to go back inside and get it. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. Here it is. This is spinach feta wrap. It's all warmed. I'm gonna see how it looks inside. There it is. So this is how it looks. It's good. Yep, yum. All right, so after Starbucks, I went to Adriana's place and we just hanged out there for a bit. And staying true to this whole new healthy lifestyle that we're trying to do. We're at Publix, which is our local supermarket, and we're looking for healthy food to buy. Well, she's buying, and maybe I'll pick up something, but I'm thinking of shopping more a little bit later because I'm not going home yet. So, yeah, trying to be serious with this new, like, healthy lifestyle. Adri just finished shopping her start of some healthy foods. Obviously, the ice cream is for her kids. Check this out. <laughs> you get to send your cart up this thing. I've never seen this before. No? That is the coolest thing ever. Say hi, Adri. Hi. <laughs> so she got started. I'll get started later. This is so much fun. All right. See you soon. Look at that? the cart though. No, I've never seen that. Yes. That is like so cool. <laughs> We're now back at Adri's place, and I'm having an allergic reaction to this earring. Oh my gosh, it even hurts taking it off. Ah. So I'm just gonna take off my earrings because my ear, I don't know if you can tell, is red, and it hurts. No bueno. And in a couple minutes, I'm gonna have a voice conference call with Carrie Canover from Educators to Educators. If you have not signed up for their free summer conference, that you can take from the comfort of your bedroom in your PJs, just open up your computer or laptop or your electronic device and just sit and choose whatever sessions you're gonna be wanting to learn more about. I'm one of the presenters, but there's a ton of other presenters that you should definitely check out. I'll leave a link down below so you can sign up for free. It is July 15th and 16th, so it's two days and you get to choose whoever you wanna watch during that two day period but lots of fun. So I'll be talking to Carrie in a little bit and let's see what happens with that. So just chilling here and then I'll be heading to my doctor's appointment later. All right, see you later. All right, friends, finish having my video conference call with Carrie. It went well. It was all about how I can participate in the new membership site by maybe creating another video and also using the video that I created on math games for this coming conference for October because the theme is games. And the other video would be on back to school tips and activities that I do at the beginning of the school year. So that would be fun. I have to start planning that video soon so that I can film it and have it to her and all that. But lots of great things coming on. So again, if you haven't checked out Educators to Educators, the link is down below. You should definitely check it out. And I just left my friend Adriana's house and I'm heading over to the area where my doctor is so that I can actually eat something because I'm hungry. And I'm in the mood for some pollo tropical. So let's go and get some delicious chicken on the grill. Now that my belly is full from all the delicious food I just finished eating at Pollo Tropical, I am at my doctor's place, enjoying this beautiful view, waiting for my appointment time, which is in another maybe 30 minutes or so. But I want you to see what are the different kinds of wildlife and nature that we have around here. Look at that massive iguana. <laughs> That guy actually scared me because I heard something falling off the tree and it was just him climbing down. And we have some ducks on this beautiful canal back here. He's pretty big, that guy. Look at that. Look at that guy right there. Hello. 
All right, so I'm just gonna keep waiting until my appointment time and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Just finished at the doctor and now I'm on my way to pick up my son's girlfriend so that she can spend some time with us at home. And I also need to go to Target to pick up some things. So I may or may not include some clips of that. All right, see you as soon as I get these things done. All right. So I picked up Nani. She's hiding. There's Nani. <laughs> and now we're in Target. And I have to always stop at the Bullseyes Playground, AKA what used to be the dollar spot. Not that I'm gonna buy anything here, but you know, you just gotta. Check out these cute napkins. Hello, Summer. She found a magic wand. <laughs> I love it. There's this one too, this one's cute. They're so cute. I like the one with the yellow star. Oh, snap. Please tell me, oh, it's a dollar. Okay, I'm taking it. <laughs> So much for not getting anything from Bullseye's Playground. That one just made it into my basket. Oh well. Letters for letter boards. Ooh, some fun checker games. Foamy checker games. These are fun. And they are $3. Oh, it's a to Angel. I don't I know what it's for. That. What is this? Like a purse? Is it like a coin okay, purse? Wait, it's, it usually says it on the thing. Doesn't say, but it's three dollars. Mm. It's adorable. How cool is this? They're bath toys, more like teaching toys. Super cool. <laughs> Check this out. Yard dice. So there's wooden dice here, and then there's a bowling game here with the pins, and it also brings a ball for you to just throw them down. This is fun. Five dollars each for wooden games. Enough with the distractions. Let's go get what we are here for. I have been back home for a little while now and I'm just relaxing and I don't know, but this cold is starting to feel like it's getting a little bit worse. Maybe it's because it's nighttime, but I feel it kind of going into my chest. So I really need some rest and that's all I have for today's first summer vlog for 2019. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.